What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js video. Today we are going to be coding a poll bot in Discord.js. This is going to be a brand new bot. As you can see, I have an empty uh, JavaScript file here. You guys can follow along. This is going to be a little bit different than my normal tutorials. Instead of me kind of explaining how things work, I'm just going to be coding and uh, explaining what I'm doing, but not how the code works. So it's going to be a little bit more advanced, but we're still going to use pretty much all the techniques that we have learned throughout my tutorials. If you're new here, this is a channel where I code at different Discord bots, and I have a small series where I teach you guys the basics on Discord.js. And today we're going to be creating our first bot, which is going to be a simple poll bot where you're able to customize a poll and it's going to be very simple. You can either thumbs up or thumbs down the poll, and that's kind of how you can uh, get a little bit of information from your Discord using some kind of bot like this. But let's go ahead and get started. So we have a branded new index.js file. We installed uh, discord.js and we did all of that with the NPM. If you don't know what I'm doing or what I'm talking about, make sure to watch the first and second video on the how to code a Discord bots playlist. There'll be a link in the description to that. And that should pretty much catch you guys up with what we're doing here. So again, brand new file. First things, as always, is we're going to make a const that's going to pretty much hold the required discord.js as well as the clients. And we are also going to do a rich embed. Um, so client for now, this is not going to pop out and enrich embed. And this is going to just require, and this is not the SE6, I think, method of doing it, but we're still going to do it this way. Uh, so require discord.js. So discord.js, there we go. And then we are just going to uh, do a con spot and this is just going to be our clients. So we're going to use bot as our new clients. All right. Very simple. This is where we kind of did it the first video uh, in our how to code a discord bot series. And then we are going to get the token. So another cons token and I have my token right here. So let me get my token and we're just going to add it into a string here we're not going to do any json stuff for now this is, again very simple we're starting off lightly and we're going to create a prefix and this is just going to be the prefix of our bots and we're going to change things up for our prefix of our commands we're going to do p exclamation mark and p is just going to stand for poll and then exclamation mark just to make it a little bit different than just a normal you know p and then we are going to probably have to log in the bot uh, but before we log in, we can do bot.on and do a ready uh, listener, event listener. And then we're going to pass it in with an arrow function because it's pretty much uh, pretty easy to do. And then here, we're just going to console.log and we're going to log uh, the bot is active and ready to go. There we go. And then finally, we're going to actually log in into our bots. So we do bot.login, log in, and then we're going to pass in our token. There we go. And just like that, we have our bot ready. If we open our, our terminal here, we do uh, node space dots. I don't know why this is not showing up. It's kind of weird. Uh, the bots is active and ready to go. And if we open Discord, then we see line bots. I really didn't make a new bot, but we're just going to be using the same line bot. I just pretty much deleted everything. And we actually created another text channel here called polls. And this is where we're going to be able to add our polls uh, to our Discord server. So pretty cool. There we go. Our bot is online. Let's close that down and let's actually begin implementing all the work that we uh, kind of have to. So we're going to use the same method of our command handler. We're not going to do different files or an actual advanced command handler. We're just going to do the basic one that we pretty much do in all of our tutorials. And that's just the bot that on. Uh, and we're just going to pass oh, not emojis, bot that on. And we're just going to pass in the message message and we are going to call that message just to make it a little bit more readable uh, that's not another function there we go open it up um, there we go and in here it's just the basic uh, split where we're splitting all the arguments so it's easier to use so we're gonna do let args and it's gonna be equal to message that content uh, sorry that yeah content sorry content that uh, substring if I'm remember correctly yeah that's substring and then we're gonna do prefix uh that length so the length and we're just going to split it up 
and we're going to open it with quotation marks and then a space and that's going to allow us to use all of the arguments so the first second all the arguments uh so basically how our bot is going to work is you're going to be able to do p uh exclamation mark and then uh pull and then you're going to be able to type something like this or let's do a question mark since it's a poll so should I add a new bot to the server or something like that, right? And what is going to happen is first the line bot is going to send a just a poll where people can thumbs up or thumbs down. And then after a while, it's going to delete this message. So, you know, whoever, you know, the admin, whoever sent the message that gets deleted. And then it's just going to keep there and then people can vote if they want it or if they don't. It's very simple. So this is how we're going to structure it. So we're getting all the arguments right here. This is the arguments that we need. We're getting all that uh, when we're doing this args right here. I know I'm kind of explaining the code, which I said I wouldn't, but hey, nonetheless, let's just do it. All right, let's do a switch basics. And we're going to do the first argument. So argument zero. And for this, we're going to do a case and sorry, case. And for the case, we are going to do poll. Yes, poll. That's what we said. Let's go ahead and break just to make sure uh, we don't ruin our code here. And now we can do two things. I think the first thing we should probably do is create an embed because we also want to have another command. We want to have a command of p poll. And if they don't do any arguments, we just want to set like a help embed saying, hey, this is how you do stuff. Um, so this is how you actually activate the poll. And then this is how you activate the embed with all of the help stuff. So if we do uh, an embed, so const, and we're just going to call it embed. It's only going to have one uh, equals new rich embed. And this is what we did last episode. Uh, it's very simple. So we're going to do another dot. Uh, let's set the color. I think I had a really cool color that I found. Yeah, X, no, zero, I'm sorry, zero X, and it's FFC300, zero, zero, if I'm correct. That's like a cool orange color uh, that I like. And then we're going to set the title of this embed to... Um, Let's do initiate poll or something like that. Just how we're going to help uh, the member or the admin sending the poll. And in the set description, we are just going to type um, p poll to initiate. Sorry, I can't even type initiate a simple yes or no poll. Kind of thinking of this as I go along, and it's kind of kind of difficult. All right, so there we go. We created an embed, and now what we want to check is that if there are just one argument, if there's more than one argument, we uh, want to do something else than if there's just you know one argument. Uh, so we want to check that the player or the member sent something else after the first argument. So if uh, not the args one, so there's no arguments for you know, args one. We are just going to message that channel uh, that send, and we're just going to send the embed. And what this is going to do, if we actually check and run our bot here, is if we do note space dot and run our bot and come here, our thing actually works. So we, if we do p exclamation mark poll, it's going to send the embed, uh, kind of helping out how it works. So the bot is going to send saying initiate initiate a poll, do this command to initiate a simple yes or no poll. Simple. And now. If he has more than one argument, which is what we need, so we can create the name of the poll, uh, we are going to do a couple things. First things first is we are going to create our our own variable that's going to store the arguments, but it's going to remove the first arguments because the first argument is, of course, uh, sorry, I clicked on thing. It's of course uh, the command itself. So we want to get all the arguments, but remove that first p poll. So it doesn't affect the name of the poll, you know, they're trying to create. And hopefully this makes sense in a bit. Um, but let's just go ahead and let message args, that's what we're going to call it, equal args that sli slice, sorry. And we're going to slice the first, the first of our arguments, which is, of course, just our, uh, our little command here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to join it back up together kind of like stitching it we're kind of removing the first part and then stitching everything back together so join then the quotation marks the space and then a colon at the end all right and that's going to allow us to use all of the arguments after the first argument and that way they're able to create a poll 
All right, then we're going to just do a basic message that channel dot send. And here we're going to get a little creative. So I have some emojis to make it a little bit more, you know, visual and kind of a little bit more interactive. So the first thing we're going to do is basics. We're just going to pass in uh, the message args right here that we created, right? And I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not going to mess. I'll do the visuals later. But then we're going to do a dot ten, and we're just going to do a message reaction. And this is the important part. And we do an arrow function, open this up. And what we're going to do here is we are going to react to the message that the bot send with two emojis. Um, so you'll see our final result here in a little bit. So message reaction dot react. And let's do this twice in discord.js and JS is a little bit smart. So what you can actually do is you can go to an emoji website and just copy an emoji. So we're going to copy the thumbs up and we're going to copy the thumbs down. And as you can see, we're pretty much done with our bot. We're just going to, you know, change some things uh, to make it a little bit more visual. And now if we do node space dot and run our bot again, if we do the just the normal command of P exclamation mark uh, poll without any arguments, it's going to send that help embed. And if we want to create a poll, so we do P exclamation mark poll and something like up here, which we had uh, this right here. Should I add a new bot to the server? It's going to, uh, this, was there a problem? There was no problem. What happened here? It didn't send message out of the send my args that message reaction. What happened here? There's one thing I did forget, if I remember correctly. We do have a break um, right here in the first arguments. Yeah, I think there is a break, but... Hmm. This should be working. All right, let's actually reload everything again one more time. Maybe it didn't load correctly, right? Yeah, it didn't load correctly. All right, so this is what happened. The bots send exactly what the arguments was. So should I add a new bot to the server? And then he reacted to it with a thumbs up or thumbs down. Now members of this server can actually vote if they want to, you can actually vote twice. It's just, it's a thing Discord does uh, with reactions. Um, but you, they can vote if, you know, they want you to add a new bot to the server or something like this. Very simple, but the actual bot works already. So I can pretty much do anything like, um, is Minecraft a good game? I really don't know. It doesn't really matter, right? And then when this happens, the bot will create the poll, and then people can actually click on that, and then that's it. And then make sure that other people aren't able to react to or add a different reaction, um, because someone could do like reactions. Oh wait. Can they do this? Probably not. Oh, right here, right? They can do this, um, but you can edit this through um, the server settings. So make sure people can't really mess with the reaction. We're not gonna be implementing some kind of method um, in the coding in this video. It's gonna be a little bit too advanced. All right, now let's actually make this a little bit better uh, by doing some things. First things first is we're gonna make it look pretty. And the way we make it look pretty is we're gonna make this part right here bald so it stands out and the way we do that is we have to kind of uh, add this little um, things before and after my message or the message arguments here which are the time symbols right here and you have to add two of them before and after and this is actually how you add a bold text on discord so right now if i want to have something bold if I just type bold, well, that's not really bold. If I type bold, nothing happens. But if I do two of the, I forget what this is called. I'm just going to call the multiplication uh, things. And I do two at each side. It's actually going to be bold. Uh, so we're going to add two, two things in each side. So it's going to make our message bold. And we're actually going to add one more thing at the beginning. And we're just going to add another emoji. Here, if I get it to the emoji website. So it makes it a little bit more pretty. All right. So let's run exactly what we have here. Can I please thank you? Clear, no, it's based on. And let's go create that exact same poll of Minecraft being a good game. And now this is kind of bold and it stands out. All right, the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove 
what the admin just said so it doesn't look like he initiated a poll um and we're gonna do this by coming back to our code which one is it uh this one right here and what we're gonna do is inside the den we're gonna do message dot delete and we're gonna do 5,000, which I think it's around like five seconds. Also, I'm gonna do a catch just in case there's an error. Uh, so we're using the console, that error. You, you really don't have to do this, but uh, there might be an error. Um, and let's go ahead and kind of reload our bot here. And now, if I'm an admin and I'm adding uh, this poll right here, so let's do a completely different poll. So poll, and I'm gonna say, is League of Legends a good game, right? And that, now it's going to add the poll, and it's going to delete this message that I just sent in around five seconds. There you go. So now it looks like the bot just sent the message by himself without having to show what command the admin just sent. And we can rem we can kind of make this a little bit faster if we want to do something like 3,000. That's going to pretty much delete it uh, pretty quick. If you go back here, and let's do another poll, why not? Is Code Lion a good YouTuber, right? And this is going to do it a little more faster. And there he goes. And of course, you have to do. Oh, that's a thumbs down. Thumbs up. Uh, that's kind of awkward. Also, why is this first? And why is that second? This should be first. It's completely weird. I think it's just messing up with the reactions, but it should be perfectly fine. Yeah, it is perfectly fine. All right, with that being said, I think that's gonna conclude this entire little bot that we created here. As you can see, it's very simple. It only took us roughly 40 lines of code, but then there's spaces in between. Can I actually format this? It's probably already perfectly formatted. Yeah, it is. I'm just that good. But that's pretty much it. As you can see, we created something very simple, a pull command. I mean, it's it's as basic, basic as it gets. Like, you can't really make a more basic bot than this. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure to check out my tutorials. And make sure to uh, comment in the comment section below if you have any suggestions for some sort of video like this. If you want me to code a bot without having to uh, do a tutorial about it and explain everything. Just me coding and kind of showing you how the code works. Uh, then make sure to leave a comment section below and I'll kind of read through everything. If it's too complicated, I might pull it off later. If it's simple like this, I might start doing that now and eventually ramp up until we get you know some big bots with you know crazy implementations and stuff. Uh, but for now, it's very simple. A couple things about this bot I do want to say before I leave you is if you actually are going to make this into a viable bot and either sell it or, um, you know, put it out there, make sure to add a permission so not everyone can add a poll unless you want everyone to have a poll or whoever you're making this bot to wants to have everyone, you know, be able to add a poll. So add permissions, uh, add cooldowns, make this bot a little bit more viable for a big server. Uh, if you are trying to sell this or put it out there. But for now, this is simple. If you have it in your own server, boom, it works. With that being said, I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.